What's going on everyone, welcome back to the channel. So you might have heard about Tencent's latest drop, the Hunyuan 3D models, specifically the Hunyuan 3D2. This is some seriously cool open source tech designed to whip up textured 3D models right from your 2D images or text prompts. It uses a couple of specialized parts, one for shaping the model and another for painting on those realistic textures. The models are able to produce pretty stunning, high-resolution 3D assets that are both precise and look incredibly real. Now the catch with these cutting-edge models is that they do need a good amount of power to run, and I know from my previous Hunyuan 3D installation video, a lot of you, especially those with AMD GPUs, ran into some real hurdles trying to get it set up locally. Not to mention folks who don't have a dedicated GPU at all and are looking for a cost-effective way to use these powerful models. That's exactly why I've put together a couple of RunPod templates. These will let you get your hands on the Hunyuan 3D models using either ComfyUI or a Gradio user interface that Tencent also developed. Both options still need a decent chunk of VRAM, but believe me, these templates make the whole initial setup process a lot smoother. Depending on what you're after, you've got options. The ComfyUI template really gives you that freedom to tinker, add whatever extra nodes or workflows you can think of to really push your 3D creations. On the other hand, the Gradio UI template is a bit more straightforward, and importantly, it includes the ability to generate 3D models just from a text prompt, which is super handy. The great thing about RunPod is the variety of GPUs they offer, and these templates will handle all the installation bits and pieces for you, so you can get to the fun part without too much fuss. Today, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to get these pods up and running easily. And hey, if you're thinking about setting this all up on your own machine, you can actually check out the video I made a few months back on getting Hunyuan 3D running locally. I'll make sure to leave a link for that down in the description. Plus, for those looking for an even simpler local setup, I've got a one-click installer for the whole project over on my Patreon page. You'll also find a bunch of other free and paid AI tool installation guides and installers there, covering everything from video generation and image editing to text-to-speech AI projects. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. Okay, let's get straight into setting up these RunPod templates so you can start creating some awesome 3D assets. First things first, you'll want to click on either of the RunPod template links I've put down in the description below. This will zip you right over to the Deploy GPU Pod page. If you don't have a RunPod account, you'll need to create one, otherwise, just log in. Now, on this Deploy GPU Pod page, you're going to see a whole bunch of different cloud GPU options. They've got everything from H100s, RTX 4090s, A100s, and plenty more, and each one has its own per hour fee. For this walkthrough, I'm going to go with the A40. It packs 48 gigs of VRAM and 50 gigs of RAM, which is more than enough to handle these 3D models at top speed, and it usually has pretty good availability. This particular GPU will run you about 40 cents an hour, but you can actually get that down to as low as 28 cents an hour if you choose one of their interruptible pods. Now, if you want to tweak the template a bit, just tap the Edit Template button you see towards the bottom left. In there you can adjust things like the container disk and volume disk storage. Just so you know, container storage is temporary, it gets wiped when the pod is terminated. Volume storage, whether it's disk or network, is persistent, meaning it sticks around even if your pod restarts. So for any important data you want to keep, volume storage is the way to go. Keep in mind, both of these storage options have their own hourly fees. I'd really recommend setting your container storage to at least 80 gigabytes just to make sure you've got plenty of room for all the models and everything else this project needs. Once you've made your changes, hit the Set Overrides button to lock in those new settings. You can also choose how many GPUs you want to rent and for how long. For this demo, we're just going to use one GPU and rent it on demand per hour. Alright, once all your settings are dialed in, go ahead and click Deploy at the bottom of the page. It doesn't matter if you pick the Comfy UI template or the Gradio UI template, these initial steps are exactly the same for both. 
your pod will now start building and it'll begin running scripts to install all the necessary bits and pieces the projects need to run. This whole process can take about 15 to 20 minutes. You can keep an eye on the installation progress by checking the logs file. When you see that final executed script showing the local URL in the terminal, that's your cue that it's ready to go. As a general rule of thumb, if you're using my default template as is, when the storage capacity for the Comfy UI template hits around 32%, or for the Gradio UI template when it reaches about 79%, it usually means the installation is complete. Once everything has finished installing, click the Connect button. Now, this is where things will be a little different depending on which template you chose. For the Comfy UI template, it's super simple. Just click the HTTP Service 8188 button and that will launch the latest version of the Comfy UI interface right there in your web browser. For the Gradio UI template, however, you'll need to copy the direct TCP port's IP URL and then paste that into a new browser window to get to the Gradio UI. I had a bit of a wrestle setting up the HTTP connect for this Gradio template, but using the TCP port works like a charm. Okay, so now that we have our Comfy UI interface up and running, all that's left to do is upload our Hunyuan 3D workflow. I'll leave a link to that workflow down in the description for you. Then you just need to upload an image of an asset you're looking to turn into a 3D model. Ideally, this should be an image of a single character or object with clearly defined features and preferably a plain or blank background. The quality of the image you upload is really going to dictate the quality of the 3D asset you get out. Most of the settings in the workflow are already pre-configured for pretty good results, but don't be afraid to tweak things as you generate to see if you can get even better outcomes. Once your image is loaded in, just hit the Q button and it'll start generating. Over on the Gradio UI side, you've got two main ways to create your 3D assets, along with some extra configuration options you can play with for both the image to 3D and text to 3D features. The UI itself is very intuitive and straightforward to use. For image to 3D, simply upload your image and then click to generate either a shape mesh or a fully textured shape asset. Generation times will vary a bit depending on the GPU you selected, but it should be among the fastest if you went with that 4090 option. If you want to try out the text to 3D feature, just navigate over to the next tab, type in your prompt and hit one of the generate buttons. For those of you who like to dive deeper, you can click into the advanced options settings and further fine tune your generation parameters to really dial in your results. And there you have it. That's how you can get Tencent's powerful Hunyuan 3D models up and running in the cloud using RunPod, whether you prefer the flexibility of Comfy UI or the simplicity of the Gradio interface. As you can see, these templates take a lot of the setup headache out of the equation, letting you focus on creating some amazing 3D assets. I hope this walkthrough was helpful. Give it a try, experiment with different images and prompts, and see what incredible things you can generate. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.